friends. My name is Lauren and I'm a librarian at the Cranford Public Library. Welcome to week nine of our We're Gonna Make It Challenge. Each week I'll give you a new idea of something to build or make and this week's theme is book covers. Let's get started. You're going to need a paper bag, the book of your choice, scissors, and a little bit of glue. This activity is a great way to celebrate your favorite books, and I love the book Flora and Ulysses by Kate DiCamillo. The book has these fantastic illustrations by K.G. Campbell, who also designed this perfect cover. There's this great font that looks like a squirrel's tail. It has Flora holding her favorite comic book, The Illuminated Adventures of the Amazing Incandesto. My copy of the book lost its dust jacket, so I'm going to design my own. For my cover redesign, I wanted to feature a bonus comic that comes in Flora's Incandesto comic called Terrible Things Can Happen to You, and I wanted to add the moment when Ulysses is sucked into a vacuum cleaner. He survives the encounter and gains incredible superpowers like flight, super strength, and of course, the ability to write poetry. This book is amazing, and you can access it digitally right now for free, no wait, on Hoopla Digital using your library card. Now back to our project. Whatever supplies you have to create with are going to work wonderfully. I chose to create my cover digitally because I wanted to practice something new. As a bonus, I can share a recording of me drawing this way. Now we're going to cover our book using our brown paper bag. We're going to cut down one long side of the bag like this. What we want to do is remove this rectangle of thicker paper from the bottom of our bag. You'll know that you're done cutting when you have a nice flat sheet of paper. It took a little bit of doing, but here we are. I've got my perfect piece of paper. I'm going to measure my book. Measure your paper using your book and give the bottom of the page a crease. And do the same thing at the top. Use your book as a measure give it a crease, give it a bigger crease. Next, we're going to create the little wings that'll hold our book in place. Before we attach the little wing, let's measure this edge and make sure we have enough paper for the front side as well. We've got a lot of extra paper here, so I'm going to cut some of that off. And we're going to shimmy our book into the cover. Take a moment to tuck in any edges that might be poking out. Beautiful! Now that my book is all wrapped, I'm going to use some fancy scissors to cut out my book cover redesign. I'm using a glue stick to attach my cover redesign to my paper cover. One final touch, I'm going to use this nice gold marker to write the title of the book and paste it right to the book's spine. And there you have it, my cover redesign for one of my favorite books of all time, Flora and Ulysses by Kate DiCamillo and illustrated by K.G. Campbell. I hope you feel inspired and are ready to create a book cover of your own. Have a grown-up submit your work to library at cranfordnj.org or post it directly in the comments below. Be sure to get submissions in by Tuesday night to be included in next week's video. Now, let's take a look at some amazing paper planes from last week's challenge. Nice! Julie, your turn!